Hello, this is Ed from Starcode Export, and uh, in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how we can add items which can be sold in loose quantities, such as uh, sugar, petrol, or fabric, or even some vegetables, chicken, things like that. So we will learn how we can add these items and how we can sell that. So let's just start. So let's start with the first item. I'll click it here. So first example we will consider is of sugar, which can be sold in kilograms. Let's just add a sugar item here. And from the category, we will select the grocery. The important thing is you need to click on this tab here, the more options. And under the unit name, you will write here kg. Sugar is normally sold in kilograms and the short symbol for kilogram is kg and the subunit name is gram so we will write here g the gram g for grams so sub items per unit so there are 1000 grams in 1 kg so we will write 1000 here and there is another box here if we check that box then the unit name will be printed alongside the name of item on the receipt. So this is a very useful feature. So one thing more, we can also select uh, the image of this item for identification. So we have selected sugar. I'm gonna add. So the product has been added, confirmed by this green box. Now I'll add the stock. So let's just say the purchase units cost of this item is Euro point eight dollar and we are selling this in one dollar per kg right and the tax rate is 10 percent and we have 50 kg in the stock so let's just keep all other values to default and we don't need anything else so I'm going to update the stock and it's confirmed the stock has been updated, right? All right, so let's add another product. So now we're going to add a product uh, which can be sold in meters, for example, a fabric. Let's just add another item, coat fabric. So under the category, we will add fabric here, a new category. All right, we're gonna select it here. And uh, for the ease of demonstration, I will keep the tax rate to zero. And we can also select the image of this item. Fabric is here, this one. And you need to click here on the more options. As we are selling this item in meter, so our unit name is meter and the short for meter is M. And the subunit will be millimeter, which is mm. Right? And there are 1000 millimeters in, in one meter, so we'll write 1000 here and we'll check this box as well. So the, this will print the unit name or subunit name alongside the name of item. So now I'm gonna add the product. Product has been added, confirmed by this green box. So now I will add the stock. So suppose we are purchasing this item in 90 or say $80 per meter, and we are selling this item in $100 per meter. And we have got 100 meter in stock. So let's just keep all other default values and update. The stock has been updated, confirmed by this green box. So now let's just close. So let's add another item to demonstrate how to use liters. For that, we will add um, petrol. Let's just say super petrol. Super is a category of this petrol. And the category we will add another category called petroleum products. Now I'm gonna select this from the list. 
petroleum products. So I'll select the image for identification. Here we go. This is a petrol image. And you need to click here on this tab. And now we have got a unit name of liters. And the short for liter is L, right? And the subunit is milliliter, so we'll write ML. We'll check this box to print the unit name. As in other examples, so we'll write 1000 because there are 1000 ml in one liter. All right, so now I'm gonna add the product, or it has been added, right? And now I'll we'll add the stock. So let's say the purchase units cost of one liter of petrol is 90 cent. This is 0 0.90, and we are selling this in. One dollar per liter, and we've got five hundred liters in our stock. So now I'm gonna update the stock. Stock has been updated, confirmed by this green box. I'm gonna close. So now we added three products. Now we'll go to point of sale module. All right. So here you can see. Here we have added these three products this is a fabric this is a sugar and this is a petrol so let's just start with the sugar selling item in kg so i'm gonna select the sugar item here here you can say product has been selected now suppose the customer is buying or purchasing 2.5 kg of sugar so how would you write in the quantity field so there are two options either you can write it as 2.5 all right, or you can also write it as two here in this box and 500 here. So 500 is the gram, two is the kg. So the easiest way is to write in this way to write 2.5 here. So we will use this method. And after entering this value, I'm going to press enter here. Where you can see. The system has automatically translated this 2.5 into 2, which is a kg, and 500, which is grams. And it has calculated the price of that item accordingly as well. So the line total and the tax. So if I print this receipt, here you can see, so this is a sugar item, and the system will automatically add a unit name, which is kg here. To the quantity quantity is 2.5 unit price and it has calculated the line total and the line text automatically all right uh, so now let's take a look at fabric which we had already added which is a which was a coat fabric so now let's suppose the customer is purchasing three and a quarter of a meter of uh, this fabric so how you how would you write that in the quantity field you will write it as 3.25 so now i'm gonna press the enter key here, here you can see the system has automatically translated that 3.25 into 3 which is meters and 250 mm so which is equivalent to 3.25 meters all right so now let's take a look at on the receipt how does it look like on our receipt okay here you can see the system has added M, which was the unit name, to the 3.25 quantity. And it has calculated the price of that item accordingly as well. All right. So now let's take a look at the third item which we are selling in liters, which was the petroleum product. This was a super petrol which we already added. So now let's say the customer is purchasing, say let's say um, 25, 25.5 liters of petrol, all right? So you will write it as a 25.5. So the system translates into 25 liters and 500 ml. So now let's take a look at on the receipt, how does it look like? Here you can see, it has added L symbol to the quantity which is 
and accordingly it has calculated the line total of 25.5 liters as well. So currently we are in a merge mode. I'm gonna switch you to unmerge mode to demonstrate the sub quantity feature. For example, if we are going to select sugar again, and the customer is purchasing half kg. How can you write that in the quantity field? You will write here 0 0.5 and I'm, I'm going to press enter key here. So now you can see the system has automatically translated 0 for the quantity and 500 to grams. So now let's take a look at how does it look like in the receipt. Okay, here you can see now the system has added gram which was a subunit name. All right, so it's showing the 500 gram and you can also see it has changed the format of pricing as well. The unit price is per gram and it's showing the price of 500 grams. All right. I hope this clarifies how can you sell items in loose quantities and if you still have questions, we'll be happy to answer your queries further. Thanks for watching and bye.